This is the first privately owned 737 MAX simulator that's FAA certified in Washington, and it allows pilots to train to go to the airlines. Then we pull back on the yoke a little bit. We're on the runway. Notice the nose come up. Of pain field within seconds. And we relax it just a little. It's liftoff. Now we have a positive rate of climb. Simulation flight in Mukilteo now has a unique piece of machinery available to pilots. The nice thing about a simulator in deference to a real airplane, number one, you're not going to fly a jet like this to train and learn. The 737 MAX simulator took two years to get FAA certified. A feat largely spearheaded by Mike Haynes, who's a retired FAA regulator and airlines pilot. I know the 737 very, very well. Projections from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics show there will be 16,800 openings for commercial and airline pilots each year for over a decade. While the FAA says airline pilots are increasing year over year, it's still not enough to cover those projections. We thought we could help bridge the gap between commercial pilots, uh, flight instructors, etc., or our charter pilots, and help them make the jump to ATP, which is airline transport pilot. A private pilot can get their license in 40 hours. To fly for an airline, a pilot needs 1,500 hours. As a former regulator, when I look at someone with 500 hours, that's not anything at the performance level I would see at 1,500. Paying to fly those hours is costly. I shudder to think of what it costs to take a 737 up and around the patch. You're in the thousands of dollars, and it, that just doesn't happen, versus our hundreds of dollars an hour. The simulations won't account for all the time you need, but it does count towards some of them. We hope to increase the number of pilots entering the industry. And provide an opportunity many wouldn't otherwise get. Hey, she's flying it. There are options for people like me who aren't pilots in an entertainment capacity, but if you want to be professionally trained on the 737 MAX, you do have to be a rated pilot. Here in Muckleteo, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.